Okay. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to the power n minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power n over a raised to the power n. That this here, we have 4 raised to the power x over 4 squared equals to 40 from here. That this here, we can write this as 4 raised to the power x over 4 squared, that's 16. Then equals to, here we can write this as 40 over 1 here. Then next step, we cross multiply here. 4 raised to power x times 1, same thing as 4 raised to power x. Then equals to 40 times 16. Then here we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 40 times 16. Then, next step here, we apply the value of log theorem. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 40 times 16. Then, next step here, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4, which implies here, log 4 cancel each other. And we have x left, which is equal to log 40 times 16 over log 4. Then, next step here, this follows the law of log theorem. When we have log a times b, it's same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 40 plus log 16 over log 4. Then next step here, we separate this into two fractions and all that becomes x equals to log 40 over log 4 plus log 16 over log 4. Then from what we have here, 16, same thing as 4 times 4, which is 4 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 40 over 4 over log 4 plus log 4 squared over log 4. Then from here, we apply the power of log theorem. That this 2 comes here, and all we have becomes x equals to log 40 over log 4 plus 2 log 4 over log 4 which implies from here log 4 cancel each other we have two left then here we have x equals to log 40 over log 4 plus 2 then next step here also 40 can be expressed as 4 times 10, which implies what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 10 over log 4 plus 2. Then also here we apply the law of logarithm, and this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 plus 2 here and here we separate this into two fractions that is we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 then plus 2 that is 
Log 4 also cancels each other here. We have 1 left, which implies x equals to 1 plus. I write 2 first, then plus log 10 over log 4. Here also, we can express 10 as 2 times 5. But this here, we have x now equals to 1 plus 2, that's 3, then plus log 2 times 5 over log 4. Then also from here, this follows the law of log theorem. All we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4. Then next step, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4. Then also here, 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 squared plus log 5 over log 2 squared. That is from here, we apply the power of log room. 2 comes here and also here, and where it becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over also 2 log 2. That is, we have log 2 cancel each other here. We have 1 over 2 left, which implies x equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 and plus. Also here we can write this as 1 over 2 log 5 over log 2. Which implies, yeah, we have x equals to 3 plus half, same thing as 7 over 2, then plus half. Applying change of this here, we have log 5 to base 2. And also here, we bring this fraction together as 1. And 2 is the SEM, so we have x equals to 2, and we are left with 7 plus log 5 to base 2. And here, yeah, the value of x in this given problem is the same thing as 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Now, let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. That is, what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 7 plus log 5 base 2 over 2 then we have minus 2 here is it equals to 40 on this side that is here we can bring this fraction together as one up here that is we have 4 raised to power SEM here is 2 then here we have 7 plus log 5 is 2, then minus. Here we have 4 now. Then is it equals to 40 on this side? That is, here we have 7 minus 4. That gives us 3. That's 4 is to power 3. Then plus log 5 is 2 over 2. Is it equals to 40 from here? The next step, 4 can be expressed as 2 squared, which is raised to the power 3 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Is this equals to 40 from here? At this here, this power multiplies and 2 here cancel each other. Then we have 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 5 base 2 and is equals to 40 here. Then here, this follows from the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n 
It is, we have 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power log 5 raised to 2. Is it equal to 40 from share? Then 2 raised to the power 3, 2 multiplies itself 3 times as 8, 10 times. This follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equal to b. At this here, we have 5. Is it equal to 40 here? Then 8 times 5 here give us 14 which is equal to 40 from here. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And then from here, we conclude that x equals to 7 plus log 5 is 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the description below. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class. Bye for now.